All right, you guys, so I'm gonna show you how to find the residuals and find the predicted. So first that you want to, um, first thing that you want to do on your calculator is you want to make sure that you have um, your data put in list one and list two. If you have not done that, go ahead and do that now. The second thing that you want to make sure that you have done is that you want to make sure that your diagnostics, oops, um, that your diagnostics are on. So one way to do that is you want to make sure you go to second catalog. And then instead of scrolling down all the way to all the things that start with D, you can go to that X to the negative one button. See how there's that little D above it? It'll take you straight to all of the um, functions that start with D. So you make sure your diagnostics are on and make sure it says done. All right. So next, um, oops, was it clear? Okay. So next thing that we want to do is we want to go to our list. Okay. So you click, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to hit stat. All right. Press enter. All right. So now we are in our lists. So we have our data for our list one. We have our data for our list two. Remember our list one is the tapping time. List two is the amount of soda that is left in the, um, in the can and so we're going to figure out what the residual amount will be okay so actually before we um so on the calculator what we can do is before we even find out the predicted we can find out the residual and this is how we do it so make sure that you are not here but you are here you have l3 highlighted okay and so what we're going to do is we're going to actually pull the residuals so what you're going to do is you're going to push second and then list all right and so now we're going to scroll all the way down here to number seven, where it says resid. You're going to press enter, enter again. And lo and behold, now we have the list of residuals. All right. The next thing that we're going to do, oops, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the predicted amount. Okay. So now we're going to go over to list four, make sure that list four is highlighted. So we learned that if we take list two and we subtract list three, we're going to get the predicted amount. All right. So how to do that is you're going to go second list. We're going to highlight list two. So notice how list two is here. We're going to press minus and then we're going to pull list three by going second list list three. Now we have list two minus list three. We press enter. And now we have the list of predicted amounts. All right. And that's how you do it.